Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to make a video going over what I think is the best way to tackle beating the very annoying World 6 Monster Swamp boss. So if you guys are in World 6, then you know this boss is a massive pain to fight. I am key level 4, I have two epic spells, one level 6 um, rare spell, all junior key tier, and I can barely solo this thing. I can solo it nowadays, it just takes like 4 minutes to do. And I'm sure a lot of you guys who are just in the Monster Swamp Zone and are watching this video are probably not Junior Key 4 and are probably not super duper strong. So I wanted to go over in this video what I think is the best way to tackle this boss and that is going to be with a team of 3 people. So the reason why I say 3 people is the best is because that is the maximum you can have in there and it is by far the best way to tackle this boss. So you do not all need to be Junior Key 4. Having one Junior Key 4 will be very helpful due to the fact that a Junior Key 4 gets 18 million HP. This allows that player to become the tank essentially, and the other two players can be Junior Key 1, 2, and even 3 and be just fine. If you have at least one Junior Key 4 with your team, you are pretty much covered. This player can pretty much tank the entire time, they can stand still, and the boss can hit them for the full 5 minutes and they will almost never die. Now what this does is take the pressure away from the Junior Key 3s and 2s who will be struggling in there quite a bit because the health that they have is only 1 million and 4 million which is a lot lower than your Junior Key 4 and the boss in there does a ton of damage. Now even as a Junior Key 4 you do need to dodge all the Cyclone attacks that they do. I would not recommend standing still in those, you will die very quickly, but I do recommend a team up for this. Now let's say you don't have any Junior Key 4 friends online or players that can help you out. Having a group of all 3s and maybe 2 3s and a 2 will still work, it will just be very challenging. What your team will have to do if this is the case is somewhat take turns taking damage from this boss and cycle it out. With 3 players combined health you should be able to finish off the boss and I will say you definitely want all rare junior magic abilities or better for this boss cause he has 55 million HP which is not easy to kill and anything under the rare tier in the junior spells is pretty weak in my opinion at least when it comes to dealing with a boss with this much health so I really do recommend you try to get those spells up. Now again. This is the best way to do it. You can solo this boss. If you're going to be soloing this boss, you do absolutely have to be Junior Key 4. You do pretty much need all epic moves or higher to do it with enough damage. You can solo it at Junior Key 4 with only two rares and one epic if you're using a damage boost. I did that earlier today, but it did take around a full five minutes. But again, I really do recommend three manning it. Having one Junior Key 4 be a constant tank, just have them sit in front of the boss, have them tank all the hits, have them do as much damage as they can, and you should be set. Now, of course, it is without saying every single player in there will need to be using their mount because the boss is really, really fast. And one thing that you can be doing if you have a group of all junior key threes is using the mount to its advantage. Just move around the map as quickly as you can, as, as constantly as you can, and you should be set and covered. He will constantly hit you no matter what you do, but even moving as far away as you can in between being hit does give you a better chance of finishing the raid because it's kind of just like a timer in a way. You're always going to be hit constantly for the same amount of damage, there's nothing you can do about it, but if you're moving away from the boss constantly, he has to cover ground to hit you again, and if you're just sitting still, well, he doesn't have to cover that ground to hit you, and you'll be hit a little bit more often. So all in all, having at least one Junior Key 4 player will help you out a lot in there. All Junior Key 3s or Junior Key 3s and 2s can do it. If you only have a bunch of Junior Key 2 players, I really would recommend trying this because the boss will one-shot you. And if you're not even Junior Key 4, do not really solo it. You can maybe do it at Junior Key 3, but I highly doubt it due to how difficult this boss is to kill. Anyways guys, thank you for watching my video on how to defeat the zone boss in the monster swamp. He is very difficult to fight, but if you follow along, have a junior key 4 or 2 in there, you should be okay. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!